Hello guys, welcome to CRNT Designers, Chetan here. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a sci-fi propeller in Blender. So before moving toward the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, then please subscribe it and turn on the notification bell icon. So now, let's get started. To make a propeller, we need to add a cylinder, add a cylinder and take it a little bit up, go to the edit mode, like this and just extrude it and scale it down. Try to get the good shading, so turn on the auto smooth and adjust our scale just you need to get the smooth shading then add a bevel modifier like this then change it to the angle 0 0.005 will be the amount and try to get the good shading like this after getting a good shading then select this face and insert this face like this and then delete this face and select this way bottom face also and then insert this face and then delete this face like this then select the vertices and press f to fill the gap okay then just you need to scale down this like this and then add three loop cuts and add a bevel on this loop cuts then give the proper amount and then extrude inside this loop faces like this then add a subdivision surface modifier and increase this level then you need to uh, add a few loop cuts to tight these edges like this so add a few loop cuts to tight these edges now we need to add one more cylinder so add one more cylinder like this and then uh, scale it down along the z axis and x and y axis also so make sure you should add 24 uh, words cylinders uh, so that will give you a cool result so add a cylinder and just delete these faces and then select the vertices in the cross manner and then press f so you will get something like this and then you need to select the wedge and then press f to fill the gaps and then scale it down along the z axis and insert these faces like this and x uh, and the second time you need to insert these faces and they make this time you need to select the individual option and then you need to extrude these faces out like this so you will get something kind of blade kind of look and then shade smooth auto smooth turn on then add a bevel modifier and you will get this kind of blades okay now just select these faces and insert these faces then extrude out these faces one more time insert these faces extrude inside these faces one more time insert these faces and then just you need to take it a little bit up and scale it down now add two loop cuts in our outer part like this and fix this loop cuts at the right position select these faces then insert these faces uh, uncheck that individual option then extrude inside these faces one more time insert these faces and this time extrude outside these faces like this as you can see our mesh looks pretty well now select the spaces duplicate the spaces and p to selection to def uh, different the selection just scale it down and just you need to ex uh, select everything and extrude inside and you will get something like this after that shift d and uh, duplicate it and just scale it down so you will get something like this ring kind of shape and now you need to uh, select the vertices and press f before pressing f you just need to delete these faces now here i have tried two designs so first design didn't work so you don't worry about it second design will work so just wait and watch So select the vertices and press F to fill the gaps like this. Now select this vertices and press F to fill the gaps. Or you can do the manually also. Means by selecting each and every vertices manually. Now select these faces and extrude inside these faces like this. And now we need to fill these gaps also. So just select the vertices and press F to fill the gaps. Then delete this face. And one more time, just select the vertices and fill the gap. Press F. And you can see we have got a pretty good result here and design looks also pretty well now we need to add few more things in this design so add few loop cuts to tight these edges make sure you check the 
normal and auto smooth also so add a few loop cuts to tight this edges so you will get a good shading and good result so that's why you need to add few loop cuts so add loop cuts wherever are necessary okay it's look pretty well now we need to select this faces and shift d to duplicate this faces and make sure you uh, press p to uh, different for the different selection to make it different from the last part so just uh, select the vertices and press f but you don't need to fill these gaps like the just uh, select the faces and extrude inside this faces and delete this faces because we want to create a different kind of design right there So you can see we have got the pretty well design. Just we want to create a design on this propeller a blade. So select the face and extrude outside this face. Then add two loop cuts right there. One will be uh, at the top. One will be at the bottom. Then Shift D to duplicate it and press P for selection. Now select this face as extrude outside this face is like this. Just you need to try to create a good design on your mesh. So you will get the good result. That's the thing. Then select this face, scale it down like this and try to get the proper good shading. So add this scale according to your good shading. You can see it's look pretty well decent. Add just the auto smooth angle right there. Then add one more loop cut right there, add a bevel on this loop cut and then extrude outside this faces. And just on on this bolt tool add on bolt, bolt factory add on so you will get bolt ready made bolt so add this one kind of bolt here you can see the different options for the bolts and nuts then fix the four bolts or any 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 number of bolts as much you want as many as you want so you can fix the bolt right there so you will get the little bit mechanical kind of design so add a few bolts right there and you can see our mesh looks pretty well and we have successfully created here the sci-fi propeller and which looks pretty well so you can give the different uh, texture to it and you can take a beautiful render so before just select the faces and scale down these faces along the z-axis uh, selecting takes too much time i can use the extreme mode also right there so scale down these faces along the z-axis X, y, X and Y axis also but uh, Z axis is important so you can scale down this along the Z axis like this so you will get the better look and you can see our mesh is ready it's look decent thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care